uh, first for taking some time out of your day to talk with us, Kevin. Um, and I want to congratulate you on the recent release and success of the single For Your Good. Um, I was wondering if you could share a little bit uh, personally why this single is important to you. Absolutely. Um, the single For Your Good is pretty much self-explanatory just by the title alone for your good and everything that we have experienced through just personal situations or spiritual uh, uh, discomfort or anything of that nature where we have felt that it wasn't going to turn out for our good. The Bible clearly says that all things work together for the good of the rule of the Lord. And so with that being said, that statement being made so obvious that we want everybody to remember it's working for your good. Stay on the field, stay, stay committed, stay connected. It's working for your good. That that's awesome, and, and I, I I can see how that comes straight from the title too. That does help. Um, I I did want to say so as you were creating um, the this the track, um, it, was there a moment that looking back now kind of stands out to you most um, that perhaps like solidified your resolve that this was definitely one and some music that you wanted to get out in the world. Absolutely. Um, you know, with just recently coming out of the pandemic and everything that, you know, we had experienced with COVID and, you know, just all of the deaths and it, it was just a downward situation for a while. And, you know, people started feeling it as though that they didn't have any hope of hope as not going back to church and going back to our norm. But uh, as we see, the things are beginning to turn around and it, again, it's working for our good. So now that we've gone through the pandemic and all of the obstacles and things of that nature, our trials of coming out are even better. And so it gives people another level of hope to know that again, it's working for our good. For sure. I was actually gonna ask my next question um, was which lyric you think from For You Good that the world needs to hear now? And it might have changed from when you were, you know, putting this together and and, and uh, recording the track. But in, in this stage now, if there was a lyric you could pick out. Well, actually, it's, it's crazy that you say that because there's not really one particular lyric that we can pick out to uh, signify the strength of the song other than... Uh, the verse that says, um, but I have good news from glory. This is not the end of your story. It's working. It's going to work. It's working for your good. That's good. <laughs> that's that's great. Now, I, I do believe that For Your Good um, is a preview track from an upcoming LP. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am, it is. Yes, ma'am. That is the single. And uh, we're getting ready to release the LP, the full project, uh, hopefully this September. September 10th is what we're looking at. And so uh, we're, we're really game and ain't uh, hype for that moment. Absolutely. And I know that you probably can't, can't share a whole lot, but I was curious uh, how you think For Your Good helps preview the upcoming LP and what, what you're most excited for. Um, you know, I, there's not much that I really can say other than the fact that I'm just excited about the people getting to hear some more amazing choir music in this season. That that's that's you are setting up my questions for me because I was actually gonna uh, ask next about Higher Calling. Um, I know that this is a hundred member gospel choir ensemble. And, and how do you think having that group um, w with the music that you're doing, why do you think that that's so important? Well, the one thing that I stress with uh, the number of people that we have in higher calling uh, and with any church that you could remember back in the day, uh, more so the singing, it was more of a family environment that, uh, that gave the people who did not have access to such a place to go, a place of refuge, a, a place of strength, uh, just being around a number of people. So when you see higher calling minister or just higher calling in its habitat, they are just family. And that's what we try to, you know, excel over to the people that, you know, although we sing together, but we are a true family. That's great. And if I'm also, if I'm not mistaken, I think I read that you're coming up on your 20, 
25th anniversary of the choir? Yes, 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 25 years. I started higher calling when I was 17 years old. I was still in high school getting ready to come out. <laughs> that, that's great. So I'm actually curious. I mean, 25 years is a long time for, for that, that type of group and doing that music. How has your vision changed or not changed, I guess, over those 25 years? Well, that's crazy that you say that. I'll ask that question because my vision from day one uh, was never to be an artist. It was never meant to be at the level that it is now. All I wanted to do was just have a nice choir of, of, of family and friends that we just, you know, went around singing, doing whatever we want to do. And, you know, I, I want to say God had another plan and directed me into where we are now. And so I'm grateful for that. But all of this, what we're doing now, this is a God thing. This is not a Kevin thing because I, I didn't have plans to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Curious, with such a large group, um, it seems like collaboration would be inevitable to, to, to happen as you're creating music. I was just curious how you see the collaboration across the group and what that brings to the music. Well, it, it brings a lot to the music because we concentrate on uh, the professionalism of the individual uh, and molding and building. Higher Calling was always created to be a training ground for up and coming artists, talent, worship leaders, the whole nine to be able to come, horn in on their gifts, expose their gifts, and, you know, uh, really be challenged. Now, with that being said, me being a leader, I don't know it all. I don't have it all. And so God allowed individuals to come into higher calling who specialize in uh, music or arranging or composition, whatever it is that they do. And we all just come together and just make it happen every Monday night for 25 years. It's been every Monday night that we do this. <laughs> That's that's such a great uh, great uh, legacy to have there. Um, I am going to close with one final question for you, and you can give this as a musical answer or a not musical answer, depending how you want to take this. Um, but what are you most expectant for in the remainder of 2021? Wow, what am I expecting for the remainder of 2021? Um, musically, that God stretches us to a whole nother level, uh, to reach a whole nother audience that we typically would not get the opportunity to do such with. So I'm praying and hoping that this music that is released touches the hearts of many and we can do greater things, bigger and greater things. Um, personally, I'm expecting God to blow me and my wife's mind uh, with endless possibilities of, of just loving on each other and just enjoying married life. <laughs> That's great. I, I want to just thank you again, Kevin, for taking the time out today and chatting with us. Uh, looking forward uh, to your new LP later in September. Listen, thank you so much for the opportunity. I'm honored.